Well, this is the first of three different types of videos. This is my Blu-ray collection, my complete updated Blu-ray collection for 2018, following the next couple of days with a pop collection and then just a room tour, going into some of the smaller details of my room that I'm not gonna mention within those. But um, yeah, so this is my updated Blu-ray collection. You guys have been asking for it. Uh, thank you again for all the support. We are at over 3,500 subscribers. I would not be here without you guys. Tons of goals set for this year. Make sure to look out for a goals kind a video that I have coming out later next week where I'll be discussing what goals I have for this type of year for my career within this for life and just in general but you guys want to see the blu-ray collection it's gonna be a little bit more lax I'm definitely not gonna be pulling them all out but I'm definitely gonna do it more handheld POV style for you POV lovers yeah you get what I mean yeah, so it's going to be POV style. You're going to hear me talking about each type of movie that I'm going through. Some I'll spend more time with, some I won't. But guys, let's get straight to that collection. <laughs> let's get to this wall. So, of course, this wall over here is the normal wall that you guys see when I'm doing my videos. Um, up here, we are going to start with my Blu-rays. Of course, this is this. Some of them I'm going to pull out. Some of them I won't necessarily. So, yeah. Uh, I got 310 to Yuma, 8 Mile. 10 Gloverfield Lane. This is a beautiful steelbook, if I might add. I, I really like the steelbook. This film was such a surprise when it came out. I That trailer, I, I just loved it. And I love that it's right next to this film, 13 Hours, because this is where I saw the trailer at. This film was good. Uh, 12 Angry Men, Criterion Collection, really great movie. 10 Things I Hate About You, really, really good movie. Took me a while to see that. 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street, of course, are two films that I wish we could have gotten more of. 40-Year-Old uh, Virgin, especially, you just you gotta love 40-Year-Old Virgin. It's, it's a beautiful film. It, it is a beautiful, beautiful movie. 50-50, uh, the most underrated Seth Rogen comedy drama, just excellent true story. Uh, 50 First Dates, I know, it's a DVD, some DVDs are mixed in, get over it. 99 Homes, very underrated performance from Andrew Garfield. Uh, I've known this for a while, this was actually exclusive only at Best Buy, but if you haven't seen it, go check it out. 101's Dalmatians, yeah, it's a classic Disney film. 300, now this is one of my favorite steelbooks, you get the front, you get the back. This film's badass. And then we have 300 Rise of an Empire, which I I actually like. Um, it's not bad. It was actually the first R-rated film I actually ever paid for without having to sneak in. Uh, 500 Days of Summer. Love, love, love this movie. 2001 A Space Odyssey Steelbook. The Steelbook is beautiful. It's immaculate. And I have not seen it yet, but I plan on seeing this film soon. Cure for Wellness. Uh, this was actually one of the first press screens I ever went to. Really, really like Cure for Wellness. I've never seen it. Uh, it's grown on me more from the past couple of years. Um, the Accountant, love this film, underrated that year. Aladdin, you gotta have Aladdin. I um, hope the live action version's good. Yes, I have the two Alice in Wonderlands. They were really, really cheap. Really, really cheap. When I see cheap, I got these things for three bucks together. It was a deal at Zia. Um, Alien, Aliens, AVP double feature. Yes, I know I'm missing some of the Alien films, but really only got some of them. Uh, Alien Covenant, uh, very underrated. Love this steelbook. Love what Ridley Scott did with this. I think the direction here was very strong, but I'm also a fan of Prometheus, so maybe that's why. Akira, a fantastic, fantastic anime film. American History X, one of the most brutal films I've ever seen. Great performance by Edward Norton. American Psycho on 4K. I, I mean, you gotta be American Psycho, come on. American Made, American Hustle, American Sniper, American Animals, most underrated film of last year. American Werewolf in London, Annabelle Creations, American Ultra, Anchorman, Annihilation, one of my favorite films of last year. I fucking love this film. Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Arrival, beautiful film. Army of Darkness. Let's talk about the Steelbook real fast. Ooh, baby, this is Hail to the King, baby. One of my favorite films of all time. One of my favorite horror films of all time. I love, love, love Army of Darkness. This film kicks major ass. And of course, we have Ash vs. the Evil Dead, the complete Blu-ray collection. I really love the series. And of course, I have the complete collection courtesy of Sam Rajon Films sending this to me. Love this whole show. It was really sad that it ended, and I wish we would have gotten another one. Avatar The Last Airbender, the complete series. You gotta get that. And of course, The Legend of Korra. I have not watched Legend of Korra yet, but I'm looking forward to it. A-Team, very underrated action film. I actually really enjoyed it. The Awkward Moment, a fun rom-com. Argo, Argo, go fuck yourself. What a great film. Avatar, I haven't watched it in a while. Um, I, I'm kind of just waiting for that one to go on 4K before I upgrade. Awesome Powers, some of the best comedies ever made. Avengers 1, 
beautiful. Avengers Age of Ultron, beautiful. And then of course I have the Infinity War with the gauntlet right there. Uh, I, I, I fucking love Infinity War. What else is there to say about that? That's just a beautiful shot. Screenshot that right there. All right, moving down to the next shelf, we have the Babadook, which I love. Baby Driver, Back to the Future, Bad Boys 1 and 2, Bad Words, Bad Moms, Bad Grandpa, Bad Times at the El Royale, Beetlejuice, Big Hero 6, The Big Short, The Dark Knight Trilogy on 4K, got this thing for like 30 bucks, totally worth it, there's a little pop, guess we'll talk about that more later on, Batman v Superman, Donna Justice, Old Man Edition is great, the Batman Animated Series Collection on Blu-ray, Batman Beyond, the Complete Series, I love this Batman Beyond, and of course you guys know I have this little statue right here, and then of course we have the Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker, Batman Under the Red Hood, Batman Assault and Arkham, Batman the Killing Joker, Batman the Dark Knight Returns, Batman Ninja, Birdman, yes there are tons of mans and superheroes and whatnot. Um, Blair Witch, and I know, I know, I'm missing the original Batman films, I need to get them. For some reason though, every time I go out to find them, they are never there. So, they'll be on their eye list soon. Blair Witch, this is the remake. Unpopular, this is better than the original. Big Lebowski, excellent film. The Big Sick, one of my favorite films of all time now. It's a film I love watching, and it was my favorite film of that year. The Boy, what the fuck. Blade Runner 30th Anniversary Collection. The Superior Blade Runner, Black Panther, this is a great steelbook, Boogie Nights, Beauty and the Beast, Beauty and the Beast animation, The Blind Side, or that lady from Bird Box, stupid, Black Mass, Blind Spotting, very underrated film, go check it out, Blazing Saddles, one of my favorite comedies of all time, Black Klansman, a film that has definitely grown on me, and Black Swan, right next. The Beauty and the Beast Rose. Da, da, da. Now we're moving down. Right here, we got Blood Diamond, Blood Father, Blood Simple, Blom Camp 3 Pack. This is all the, his films. Uh, District 9 Chappie and Elysium. District 9 is easily my favorite. A Bigger Splash, Boondock Saints, Braveheart. And I know there it looks like a film there is missing. It is, and that film is Blockers. It is in my parents' room, and I forgot to get it before recording. Born Trilogy, Jason Bourne, Body of Lies, Bone Tomahawk, Boruto, Naruto the Movie, Brawl, and Cell Block 99. Go check out this movie. And, of course, go check out this movie. Brooklyn, great film. Bronson, Brigsby Bear. Whoop. Now we got The BFG, Bubba Hotep, Brother Bear, The Boy and the Beast, Burn after reading cars. And if no one's ever seen Bo Bubba Hotep, go check it out. It's Elvis Presley fighting off like mummies and zombies. It is awesome. Cabin in the Woods, Captain America the First Avenger, Captain America the Winter Soldier, Civil War, Captain Phillips, and Click. And I have to say, this Civil War steelbook is beautiful. It, it's one of my favorites. And then we have, of course, Chase Amy, Jane, Silent Bob, Strike Back, and Clerks. Castle in the Sky, Call Me By Your Name, Captain Fantastic, Courage the Cowardly Dog, the complete series. Whoop. We got Catch Me If You Can, Steven Spielberg's most underrated film, Captain Underpants, Cloverfield, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, The Crazies, Clockwork Orange, City Lights. This film is fucking amazing. It's Charlie Chaplin, and Charlie Chaplin is a fucking genius. Colossal, The Classic Monsters, The Essential Collection. This is all the Universal Monsters. This is great. I've been needing to pick this up. I grew up with these movies. Collateral, Crazy Rich Asians, Crazy Stupid Love, The Conjuring, Conjuring 2, Coco, which holds one of the best steelbooks of all time. Creed, Corpse Bride, The Cowboy Bebop, The Complete Series, Chronicle, Changeling, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, <laughs> Sorry about that. The Disaster Artist, Deepwater Horizon, Don't Breathe. Whoop. Sorry, Harley Quinn. The Django Unchained, my favorite Tarantino film. Edit Tomorrow, or Live, Die, Repeat, whatever you want to call it. A fantastic film that I hope we get a sequel to. Donnie Brasco, dope. Doctor Strange, Daybreakers. I have a lot of fun with this film. The Daniel Craig collection of the Bond films, except Spectre, because I do not have that because I did never saw it and I don't really care to. Dazed and Confused, Danny Collins, Die Hard, a Good Day to Die Hard. Yes, I have this film because I have an issue where I need to have almost all the films in the series. Den of Thieves, Death Note, best one of the best anime series ever made. Descent, 
Devil's Rejects. It's still in the packaging. This was actually the first Blu-ray we ever got. We bought it with buying our PS3. Drive. This Steelbook is fucking amazing. Ryan Gosling's face is all on it. How to Train Your Dragon 2. I know I'm missing the first one. I plan on buying it. I, I don't know why, though. I have seen... I've never seen this one, but I've seen the first one. It makes no sense. I know. Um, Due Date. The Drop. Dinosaur. Donnie Darko. Deadpool Steelbook, Deadpool Steelbook on 4K, Deadpool 2 Steelbook, Despicable Me, Despicable Me 2, Despicable Me 3, Dread, Demolition, Don John, Dunkirk, Dumbo, I mean, come on, it's Dumbo, Eagle Eye, Edge of, Edge of, eh, I keep saying Edge of Tomorrow, End of Watch, Easy A, Eddie the Eagle, Edge of 17, Edward Scissorhands, Elf, Equalizer, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Evil Dead 2 on Blu-ray, Evil Dead, the remake, Entourage the movie, Eternal, Sunshine, Spotless Mind, and of course, it's no complete collection without the Emperor's Grooves movies. Enemy, Expendables, Everest, Ex Machina is... If you have never seen this film, it is on Netflix now, go watch it. This film was so frickin' good. I love this film. E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Everybody wants some! Fantastic Mr. Fox Criterion Collection. All the Fast and Furious movies. Yes, all of them. And what do you think is my favorite? Dun 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 This one. I really like Fate and the Furious. It was a lot of fun. Fallen, a very underrated Denzel Washington film. Fargo, Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, Ferris Bueller's, The Florida Project, Fight Club, Frank and Weenie, and Foxcatcher. I really like all those films. Let's go back down here, though. Woo! The Fighter, Fox and the Hound, Forrest Gump, From Paris with Love, Fruitvale Station. The first time I ever saw Michael B. Jordan in a film. An amazing movie that broke me down and put me in tears. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And yes, I know some of these are not in complete order, but they are pretty much in order. Friends with Benefits. Funny People. Free Fire, a really underrated film. I th was this done by A24? Of course it was. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Fury. Good Night Mommy. A very creepy, adrenaline-filled horror movie. Gatsby. Ghost Story. Yeah, I love this movie. Gangs of New York. Ghostbusters. Yes, I own the new Ghostbusters. I really like the Steelbook. I thought it was really cool, and I got it. I got I got it for free with this, so I'm not gonna throw away a free movie. And I think my sister actually likes that movie. Game Night. Godzilla. Very disappointed in this movie. I really hope the second one's good because it looks amazing. Ghost in the Shell. And of course we have Ghost in the Shell over here. I really actually like the live action version. The Gift. The Godfather trilogy you gotta have that. i got this for 10 bucks on black friday this was an awesome deal get him to the greek the departed goodfellas and aviator goodfellas is my favorite out of all these so i put it right there the game another criterion collection goodwill hunting good time the most underrated performance of the year robert pattinson should have been nominated and he even won for last year's oscars gone baby gone good morning vietnam the gray Green Room, another A24 film that I love. Guardians of the Flipping Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, with little Groot saying do not push the button. Gremlins! Gone Girl. I, why the fuck is this backwards? Gone Girl comes with an amazing Amy book. I, I, oh fuck, I love Gone Girl. Goonies, Get Out, Goon, Grindhouse, if you've never watched this, this is Robert Rodriguez's thing. Open this up as Grindhouse Death Proof. This is a badass collection. Uh, Grant Torino, Goosebumps, The Grand Budapest Hotel, The Greatest Showman, Girls Trip, the most underrated comedy. This comedy surprised me so much. The Guest, Gladiator, Happy Flippin' Death Day, Halloween on 4K, Hancock, Hardcore Henry, House on ha Haunted Hill. So, me and my friend, oh, oops. House on Haunted Hill. This is a really fun horror movie. And I have to say that. I did not expect anything from this movie. The house never opened. Tell me if it's good. I don't care to ever watch it. The house of the clock and its walls. The Harry Potter 4K collection. Hail Caesar. Hobbit. Hobbit 2. Hobbit 3. I never saw Battles of the Five Armies because I was really disappointed with the second one. Like the first one. The second one disappointed me. 
The third one I just never cared to watch. Hercules, Hell or High Water, Hellboy, Hellboy Sword of the Stones, Hellboy 2. I love Hellboy, if you can't tell. Horrible Bosses, Her. Amazing film on Netflix, never seen it. Hacksaw Ridge on Steelbook, beautiful movie. Hot Fuzz, Heat, The Incredible Hulk, High Rise, Hate Eight, Hansel and Gretel, Hotel Transylvania, Hostels, Hitman's Bodyguard, Howl's Moving Castle, all the Catching Fire and Hunger Games movies. I, yeah, whatever. Hangover, I like these films. Hereditary, seen the film you know what the sound means hook isle of dogs the hurt locker it comes at night interstellar the this film is fucking awesome if you like we'll give it another watch if you never saw it or if you did you didn't like it inception one of my favorite films of all time it follows i tanya my second favorite film of last year inglorious bastards the inside lewin davis the Incre- I almost said The Incredible Hulk. No, this is Indiana Jones. Love Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's easy, my favorites. Ides of March. Inherent Vice. Independence Day. The Intern. Insidious 1 and 2. The only ones that are give- worth giving a crap about. Incredibles. On 4K. Incredibles 2. On 4K. Steelbook. It. 4K. St- I think this is the 4K Steelbook. Maybe. The Interview. The Iron Giants. I, it's a real funny story about the interview real fast, and then I actually want to talk about Iron Giant for a second. The Interview. I remember when this film got, like, banned because they said they were going to get bombed. I went to a theater to see this the day it came out because I had to. And, oh, my God, this film, it wasn't the best, no, but it was still quite a f- bit of fun. Iron Giant, one of the most best animated films of all time. Iron Man 1, 2, and 3, 3 Collection, Inside Out, Ingrid Goes West, Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2, John Wick, John Wick 2, Jennifer's Body, Jumanji, Jumanji 2, Jingle All the Way, the best Christmas movie ever made, Justice League, yep, Flashpoint Justice League, Justice League, Justice League, Jungle Book, Jungle Book, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park Collection, Keanu, Kick Ass, this movie kicks a ton of ass, Kick Ass 2, still a lot of fun, Kill Bill, Kill the Messenger, So now we're going to cut over to this wall right behind me, and we're going to go to that wall and have some fun. Let's go. All right, starting from the top, Kingsman. Kingsman 2, which I actually think is a lot of fun. The Killing of a Sacred Deer, King Arthur, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Knocked Up, Kong Skull Island, King Kong, Kubo, all the Kung Fu Panda films. The beautiful La La Land. Beautiful steelbook. Love this movie. Legion. Lego movie, Lego Batman movie, Coraline, Paranorman, Box Trolls, Lady Bird. I, I, so the reason this is in the L's real fast is because it's Leica. That, that, that's literally why it's in there. Lady Bird, Last Flag Fine. This was such an underrated movie. I flippin' love this movie. Limitless, Land Before Time, Last Witch Hunter, Live Simon, Lawless, Laser Team, The Rooster Teeth movie, which was fun. I Am Legend, Lilo and Stitch, Legend, Logan Lucky, Loving, Life, Les Mis, Lights Out, Lion King, Little Miss Sunshine, Live the Night, which I actually really like this Ben Affleck film. It's not his best directed film, but it's still a fun movie. The Lobster, Lock, Logan, which this happens to be one of my favorite steelbooks. It it is just, this film was fucking perfect. Lords of Dogtown, Lone Survivor, Lord of the Rings 3 film collection, Looper, Mad Max, Road Warrior, Mad Max Fury Road, Man of Steel, The Martian, Mars Attacks. I If you've never seen Mars Attacks, this film is a pleasant joy. Definitely go check it out. You'll have a blast with it. Midnight Special, a film that has definitely grown on me. Mission Impossible 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and Fallout is now my favorite. One you can never forget about. Ooh. Monsters, Inc., Monsters, Inc., University, Mall Rats, Mayhem, Magnificent, Seven, Mandy, pure, beautiful joy. Um, moving over here, Mike and Dave, we need wedding dates, Nightmare Before Christmas, Mississippi Grind, all the Matrix films. This one's on 4K, though. You gotta get that on 4K. A Most Violent Year, never seen this. My dad gives me crap, says it's the worst film I ever made. You guys tell me I need to watch it, or if, I sh- if it really is. If I'm in USA, Misery, The Meg, Men in Black trilogy. I have a guilty pleasure with all the Men in Blacks, that's why I have the trilogy. 
uh the mummy the mummy with tom cruise okay i own the tom cruise one because i never saw it in theaters i still have not finished this film minority report mulan moon moonlight monster calls moana mom and dad molly's game and miller's crossing all good movies the muppets mud the saki nightcrawler night before night of the nice guys neon demon nowhere boy neighbors no country for old men nocturnal oblivion Oceans Trilogy, Oceans 8, Only the Brave, The Other Guys, Olympus Has Fallen, London Has Fallen, and Out of the Furnace. Ouija Origin of Evils, this sequel was such a pleasant surprise. Pacific Rim, Paddington 1 and 2, this is a perfect film. Paddington 2 is beautiful. Pan's Labyrinth, Patriot's Day, Paranormal Activity, and real fast, I want to show you guys this Pan's Labyrinth. Um, the, this is a beautiful Criterion collection. It is... God, Del Toro, you can do anything. Pain and Gain. I actually really like that film. Popstar, one of the most underrated comedies of the last couple of years. Definitely go check that one out. Pineapple Express, The Prestige, Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates of the Caribbean 2, Pirates of the World End, Pirates of this, Pirates, Dead Man's Hell No Tale. This is the new one. Really like this steelbook. And I think it's the second best Pirates film. Predator, Predator, three movie collection and the new one. Paul, really like that film. Moving down here, it's going to get a little squish because it's right next to the wall. And that is Plane, Trains, and Automobiles, Prisoners, Place Behind the Pines. Really underrated movie. If you've never seen this, do check it out. Great cast within there. The Power Rangers film. I mean, come on. Princess Mononoke, a beautiful animated film. Princess and the Frog, one of my favorite Disney films, actually. Planet of the Apes Trilogy, 4K. I got this for, like, literally 10 bucks. Princess Bride, Point Break, Punch Drunk Love, all the Purge films. It, this is one of the OCD things. I gotta have them all. My dad actually likes them all, but I actually really like the first Purge. Public Enemies, Pulp Fiction, Pursuit of Happiness, all the Pokemon movies, Steelbook. This is... You know what pissed me off? Limited edition my ass. It's still there. Apparently no one wants these on Blu-ray. Disappointing. Personal Shopper. Really good Kristen Stewart film. Perks of Wallflower. Peanuts movie. Peter Pan. Pinocchio. Primal Fear. Prometheus. Raging Bull. All the... Well, the first three Rambos on 4K. Rango. Real Steel. I really like this film. Ratatouille. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty Season 3. Love Rick and Morty if you can't tell. Raising Arizona. The Revenant, Ready Player One's a beautiful steelbook. I love this film. This film was such a beautiful world. I, I'm a big fan for world building films. Red Rock and Rolla, really underrated Guy Ritchie film. If you've never seen this, go check it out. Red Sparrow, hard film to watch, but really liked it. The two Raid films, The Revenge, Rocco's Modern Life, the complete series, A Quiet Place. This is a beaut like this is one of my favorite steelbooks I actually own. Even though the film didn't make my top ten, it was definitely up there. Reservoir Dogs, Road House, Rosemary's Baby, all the Rocky films, Robin Hood, Roger Rabbit. You, these two are essentials for any collection. Rough Night. I, some of these films, you guys are probably like, what? does he even like movies? Yes, I do. I just have guilty pleasures. Room, Rush, San Andreas, Saving Mr. Banks, Colin Farrell's best performances in this movie. It is about the making of Mary Poppins. Go check it out. All of them are great in it, but seriously, Colin Farrell's the best. Savages, underrated Oliver Stone film. Scott Pilgrim, Versus the world, great steelbook right there. Uh, uh, get back in there, little boy. Get back in there. Oh fuck, I just dropped something. Safe house, safety not guaranteed. The spectacular now and the Shrek, the whole story. Going over here, we have a serious man, Secret of Nim, which I really love the book for this. Seven, Shaun the Sheep, she's out of my league. One of my favorite comedies. Searching, Skyscraper, Silence of the Lamb. This is a great Criterion Collection as well. Shining, Sully, Sing Street, one of the most underrated films of the last couple of years. Shutter Island, Silver Lines Playbook, Sin City, Sin City 2, The Social Network, Sorcerer's Apprentice, Sausage Party. I don't know why I have this. Scooby-Doo 1 and 2, Sicario, Sicario 2, Shape of Water, Sherlock Holmes, Sorry Mary Naxmer, Sherlock Holmes 2, The Strangers, Spy, Shaun of the Dead, Signs, my favorite M. Night Shyamalan film, Small Soldiers, why isn't this on Blu-ray yet? Come on now, re-release this, remake this film, let me get all the toys. <sighs> Southpaw, um, Spider-Man 3, 
well, the three movie collection, 4K, gotta have those. Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man Homecoming, Daredevil vs. Spider-Man, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan if you can't tell. Snatch, Spirited Away, my favorite anime film of all time. It, this film's amazing. All the Star Wars movies on, well, what can I say, Steelbook. I, I just, I love Star Wars, what can I say? Personally though, even though this isn't my favorite film, I really like Rogue One's Steelbook. I think the Steelbook's beautiful. Um, Star Wars Rebels, the complete series. I'm only missing season four. Star Trek, Straight Outta Compton, Source Code, Spotlight, which was... This is one of the films where it won Best Picture, and I was like, totally deserved it. Uh, if it didn't win, I would have been mad. Oh, man, getting back in that corner. Split. I can't wait for Glass. And then Step Brothers is all the way back there. Whoop! Two more walls. Suicide Squad. Stitch the movie. Super. Super bad. Which has a really cool steelbook, actually. Look all around it. Surf's Up. Uh, Sword in the Stone. I actually... I forgot I had this movie. Swingers. Swiss Army Man. The Legend of Tarzan. Taken. Tombstone. Tropic Thunder. Trumbo. Man from Uncle. Which... Ah, oh, man. It sucks. I wish we would have gotten a sequel to this. Taboo. Tag. Tarzan. Ted. Ted. Two. Taxi Driver. I, this film's really good. This film's really, really good. Tangled, Terminator Salvation, Terminator, Terminator 2, Terminator Genesis, Teen Titans Go to the Movies, actually way better than I expected. This Means War, a, a guilty pleasure of mine. This is the end. Thor, Thor 2, Thor Ragnarok, easily the best one. Lara Croft's Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, the new one. Top five, The Town, one of my favorite films of the last couple of years. I this film's in my top ten. I thought Ben Affleck did such a great job. The best trilogy of all time, right here, my friends. The best, literally the best trilogy of all time, right here. Train Spotting, Tinker Tailor Soldier, My Neighbor, Totoro, Ninja Turtles movies, all of them, except the animated one. I'm actually surprised I don't have that one. Treasure Planet. Transformers, Transformers movie, yes, I'm missing last night, never buying it, Training Day, Tremors, Top Gun, True Grit, Trainwreck, Tucker, Three Kings, this is actually made by the guy who did Silver Linings Playbook, and this is a very underrated movie, I actually have a blast watching this, and if you guys have never seen this movie, do check it out, A Valerian Vacation, Vampire's Assistant, Circa Do Freak, I only have this movie Due to the fact being, I actually really like the books. Van Helsing, The Visitor, Venom, Venom, and Voices, Usual Suspects, you gotta mention, and yeah, the rest are kind of... Alright, last one. Wonder Woman, Wind River, We Are the Millers, Under the sea Skin? Yeah, Under the Skin. I was about to say, I really like this movie. Wanted, War Dogs, very, very underrated movie of the last couple of years. Warcraft, I best video game movie ever made. Sorry, The Watchmen. This, what else can you say about watching? The Way Way Back, Whiplash, Up, Unbreakable. We just saw Split, Unsane, Upgrade, Wally Warrior, The Walk, Winnie the Pooh, Walk the Line, Winter's Bone, The Witch, The World's End, The Weird Science Zoo. We bought a zoo. I have a soft spot for this movie. Wonder, When Marnie Was There, Wiscotini, Tango Foxtrot, Wreck-It Ralph, all the X-Men films, including Wolverine, Wolf of Wall Street, my favorite movie of all time. This movie is flippin' amazing, and I love the steelbook for it. You're next. Oh, my fan was in the way. You're next. Your name, Yoga Hosers, Z for Zachariah, Zombieland. Which one is this? Tur um, then the rest are kind of just films I already have. Uh, can't forget about Christmas Vacation, and you definitely can't forget about Zootopia and Zero Dark Thirty all the way back there, but let me show you this zombie land still book real fast. Hopefully the second one actually does come out next year. That'd be pretty cool. So that was my Blu-ray collection, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching this. I know it was very jumpy and moving around a lot, but I just wanted to do it very impromptu and make it fun. Make it more fun for me to make, um, less than me tearing out the part of the whole wall and having to re-put it all back in order. I know I have to go back through it. I know it's very dusty in this room because it's hard to dust. But again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this. You guys are seriously all the best. And well, until next time, stay classy.